In this video, we'll show you how to install your cassette. To install your cassette, you're going to want to look at the pattern of your hub body. On a Shimano cassette, there are a bunch of raised ridges, and they're all the same size, except for one smaller one, which you can see right here. I like to line that one up at the top. You'll take your cassette, it usually comes apart in few pieces, unless you have a power dome, but you find the smallest key ridge and you slide the cassette over top. There we go. Then there's a series of spacers and additional gears. Next, on goes a spacer. And your next gear. Then another spacer. Your next gear. Spacer. Another gear. Another spacer. And your last three gears are one piece. So find the smallest one again. There it is. And slide it on top. Now you finish this off with your cassette cap. Just get that started with your fingers. And then you'll use your cassette tightening tool. And that fits inside here. You can get that tight, and then use an adjustable wrench to tighten this. Now they recommend 40 newton meters for this cassette, but it's really hard to find a fitting to fit this tool in a torque wrench. If you can't do that, I recommend just kind of getting it hand tight to where it seems to make sense. Don't go overly tight, just so it's a good snug fit. And there's your installed cassette. We're going to install the rear wheel on this bike. This wheel already has the tire installed. If you don't know how to install a tire, you can follow our other tutorial that we'll post a link to at the end of this video. To start, put the wheel in between the frame. You're going to want to lift your rear derailleur up so it's out of the way. Then you're going to slide the skewer into the drops, the horizontal drops, sorry, the vertical drops. Once it's in place, you'll tighten the skewer on the end, and then I'll shift over here. And then you're going to want to close your quick release lever. Get the quick release so that it starts to get some tension right about where it's parallel to the ground. And then you'll close the quick release, and the wheel is installed.